The kit came with a stylus, JST power cables, a micro USB power cable, and the screen itself. Keep in mind that you'll need a micro SD card as well, which this screen doesn't come with. If we take a look at the GitHub here, uh, the first step, of course, is just going to format the SD card in FAT32. Start by opening File Explorer. Now we can plug in the SD card into the computer. Right click the SD card you wish to format and select Format. Here we'll make sure it's set to the FAT32 file system. Give it a name if you'd like, then click Start. Click OK. Once complete, we can click Close and move on to the next step. We'll head back on over to the GitHub page and instead of manually doing number two and number three, we're actually going to click on this online Wi-Fi form here, which will bring us to this Xtouch Wi-Fi setup page. Under SSID, enter your Wi-Fi name, then enter your Wi-Fi password. Click Create File. Mine saved to the desktop, however yours may be a different location. We'll now take that file we just saved and drag it to the SD card. What this configuration file does once it's inserted into the Xtouch is it allows the Xtouch to automatically connect to your Wi-Fi, which our printers are connected to, therefore allowing us to control the printers over Wi-Fi. Now we can insert the SD card into the Xtouch and connect it to the PC via the USB cable. Let's head back over to the GitHub. So this is where we're gonna set up the Xtouch screen. So it's pretty simple. You just open your web browser of your choice. We'll copy this uh, link here that they give us and you can, again, copy it one or two ways. I'll just open a new tab here and we'll go ahead and paste that. As you can see, it brings you straight to the Xtouch installer screen, as I said. So if you hop back on over, it basically tells you what you're gonna be doing. On the web page, um, you're going to click connect and it's going to establish a connection and so on and so forth. But this is where you're pretty much going to touch everything on the computer and then verify that the X touch screen is actually getting updated. And you can see that installation on your screen and it'll tell you on the screen. So go to the website here and we will click connect. Now I want you to pick uh, the COM port in which your device is connected to, your X touch screen. And if you're unsure, if you're like me, if you have a ton of them, uh, and you don't know which one it actually is. Very simple, just go ahead and open up a device manager. And when you're on device manager here, if you open the ports and comm section, you're gonna see it's the one that's labeled the CH340. So this USB serial here, and I can see mine is on comm port 22. So if I hop back on over to my Xtouch web installer, um, I can try that again. And here from the list, I remember it was COM22. So I'm gonna select the USB serial here, COM22 and hit connect. And it does say you wanna install Xtouch and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna click install Xtouch. Click yes, we don't have any data on the device yet. So install. As you can see here, it says the installation is complete. It lets us know here on the screen. So I'll head on over to the actual Xtouch and we'll mess with that. The first time it starts, it will have you click a few places on the screen to calibrate it. At this point, it will establish a Wi-Fi connection, search and find the printer or printers located on your network. It found both my P1Ps. However, I want to pair it with a top printer. So I'll choose that one here. Here, we'll enter the printer's access code, which can be found by going to the printer and viewing the settings menu, then WLAN. Enter the access code and click the check mark. It will connect to your printer, and if successful, will take you to that screen you've been waiting for. That's all there is to it. You can literally mount the X-Touch screen anywhere in your house as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi and it has power. It'll work. I chose to mount mine on the printer, of course. If you'd like to see how, continue watching. Mount the screen onto the front plate and secure it with four three millimeter screws. Now install the adapter onto the front plate with two three millimeter screws. Lastly, connect the micro USB end of the power cable to the X touch screen. Before working on any electrical device, it's a really good idea to turn off the power and unplug it from the wall. We're now ready to mount it to the P1P.
I chose to route the USB power cable to my Casa 5V USB power strip rather than the port on the back side of the front panel since my camera is already using that spot. Plug back in your printer's power cable, flip the switch, and enjoy your new X-Touch. Thanks for viewing another episode of Tripa's Garage.